So yeah, welcome, uh, like I was saying, to the product overview webinar uh, with Trello and Google Sheets. We are Unido, we shape the flow of work. Um, here's a little bit of an introduction uh, to the webinar. We are going to unlock uh, one more webinar. Uh, we are going to go over just a quick a little overview of you know, first and give some context uh, around the tool. Then we're going to move into a demonstration of uh, the functionality of Trello and Google Sheets. We're going to walk you through some setup and we're going to touch on the common use case with that demo. Uh, then we're going to go into value and pricing with you, Nito, and then we're going to open the floor, like I was saying, to uh, ask some questions. All right, your host for today. So it is uh, myself, I'm Moore. I'm a product specialist here at Unido. Uh, fun fact about me is I am quite the bookworm. I started a small uh, book club here at the office with a few colleagues and uh, I hope to grow it rapidly, but right now we're starting modestly and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Fanny? Hi everyone, uh, my name is Fanny. I'm a customer success manager. Um, and I'll be running the demo part of this webinar. A fun fact about myself is I'm French, but I lived in Australia for a few years, which leaves me with this weird accent that not everyone gets. I know Mariah had a little bit of trouble when we first met, but I think we're good now, aren't we, Mariah? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, sir, you want to introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Yasser, a product specialist at Uniro. Um, fun fact about myself is I love to bake uh, apple crumbles and actually right now I have one in the oven and uh, this is not a joke. So, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. We have uh, an office meeting tomorrow, right Yasser? Just friendly reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, there's also going to be on the ones and twos. He'll be helping out on the chat, answering questions there and uh, sending resources when needed. Thanks again, Yasser. Alrighty, so getting right into it, uh, tool overflow can leave organizations feeling disjointed and siloed. So whether you have your staff uh, in a CRM or a PM tool or a tech tool or a sheets tool, sometimes those, those uh, items and the information gets trapped within those silos. Oh, if it wants to go ahead, there we go. And so the consequences of those silos uh, are real. So these are the most common uh, pain points we see and what leads uh, wonderful clients to us. So your teams aren't aligned, your visibility into work is lost, your collaboration stagnates and you lose time and uh, oftentimes money uh, trying to piece everything together. I'm sure one or two of those might uh, resonate with you. Uh, so at Unido, we allow you to break down your tool barriers, gain visibility into your work, align your teams, and save tons of time and effort. Um, you know, and big shout out here to the graphic design team for illustrating that so beautifully for us. Uh, we have over 50,000 actually active users in 5,000 plus companies in 90 plus countries. There is um, a little bit of a snapshot of some of our notable clients. So how does it work? And we'll go ahead and jump right into the Trello Google Sheets demonstration here, Fanny. Thank you, Mariah. So um, today I'm going to show you how uh, to build a flow between Trello and Google Sheets for reporting purposes. And to make this uh, even more interesting, we're going to be using a Google Sheets template that you need to build. So I'm going to share my screen. And while I do so, maybe Yasser or Mariah, you can reshare the link to the template for everyone to go and download it. Um, so here's the template that we're going to use. And to give a little bit of context before we dive in, as Trello users, I'm sure you have noticed that Trello is great for project management purposes but also that their reporting dashboards are um, not very customizable, maybe not super detailed. So what we're trying to do here is that we want to leverage uh, Google Sheets, um, which is a free tool to uh, complement uh, Trello's capabilities. So this template built by Unito is going to help you report um, on your team's work and deliver your projects on time you'll get information such as the workload per team member, the number of open tasks per label, et cetera. 
keep in mind that it's totally possible for you to connect Trello to Google Sheets via Unito, but without this template. This template is really just um, uh, meant to make it easier for you, right? So you can see it as a source of inspiration, but it's not necessary for you to get started. All these graphs that we're looking at at the moment, they're populated thanks to this data dump uh, tab. And the information that we've got here is coming from Trello, thanks to a Unito flow. We'll, um, I'll explain that later on. So what I've done uh, prior to this webinar is I've copied these this template, um, because this one is the original, it is view only, you can't edit it. So when you download the template, you'll see there's an instructions tab right here. And one of the first things um, to do, the first thing uh, on the list is to create your own copy. So here's my own copy called Project Honey Reporting. And you can see that the graphs aren't showing much, right? Um, that's because I've gone ahead and deleted everything in my data dump uh, tab. Um, this is also part of the instructions, by the way. Um, I have not removed the first row on my sheet though, so all my columns are still named. Now, uh, together, we'll go and create a flow between Trello and this uh, sheet. But before we do so, let me switch to my Trello board just so you can see how it's um, structured. So it's pretty classic. I have four columns to do doing on hold and done. I have about 20 cards that are currently open. I have a couple of labels. Some cards are assigned to myself. Others are assigned to my colleague, Sasha. And all my cards have a due date. Some of them have actually been completed already. They've been moved to the done column. So now I'll switch to my Unito workspace. And again, prior to this webinar, I've created a, a flow in draft just to save a little bit of time. So if you have never um, created a flow with Unito, maybe some of you are still trialing the platform, maybe you didn't get the chance to get started. So um, when logging into Unito, if you have never created a flow, you would be prompted to do so. If you're an existing customer though, and you've already created some flows in order to create this. Sorry, just a friendly reminder. Uh, if everyone could mute themselves, it'd be uh, awesome. Um, so yeah, if you already have some flows, just to get started with this Trello to Google Sheets flow, go ahead and click on the create flow button. In my case, I'm just going to go and edit my draft and take you through every step of the process. So the first step uh, is about selecting the tools that you want to connect. As you know, you need to connect many tools, not just Trello and Google Sheets. We connect Asana, Jira, um, and many more, right? So in this situation, I've selected Trello and Google Sheets. I could have selected uh, Google Sheets first. It's really um, of no importance here. And more specifically, I want to connect my Trello board called Project Honey to my uh, data dump tab. A little bit further down, uh, you'll see that you'll need to install the Unito add-on for Google Sheet. You can do it from uh, Unito by clicking here on Install Unito add-on, or you can do it from Google Sheets. I'll show you quickly. You would go to Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and we'll look for the add-on called Unito for Google Sheets. It's the one that has about 13,000 downloads, so you can't miss it. Back to my flow, everything looks good here. I have gone ahead and configured the, the add-on already, so I can confirm this step. Now, the second step of the process is about the flow direction. And in our case, we're gonna do one way from Trello to Google Sheets, because we are trying to report on our Trello cards. We don't ever plan to create new rows in Google Sheets to transform them into cards in Trello. If that's what you want to do, totally doable via Unito, you would just uh, select the two-way flow. But in our case, it's really just one way from Trello to Google Sheets. So I'm going to go and confirm this step. Now, when it comes to my rules, this is where you decide which cards you actually want to sync to your Google Sheets. I'm going to read this with you, and then I'll explain uh, further. So at the moment, it says that if a card is in my Trello 
board called Project Honey, and the card is open, meaning it's not archived, it is visually um, available on my board. Then uh, Unito will create a matching row in Google Sheet and keep the items in sync, which means that if I update a due date on my Trello card, this will be reflected on the Google Sheet side so that your report is always up to date. Now, I could have decided to narrow down which cards I want to send to my Google Sheets. I could have decided to only send cards um, that have a certain label or that are assigned to a certain member. In uh, this situation, it doesn't make much sense to narrow it down because what we're trying to do is to send all the information to Google Sheets and then manipulate the data from there. So I'm gonna keep this uh, as open as possible. So this looks good. I'm gonna go and confirm. And then the last step of the process is about mapping your fields. So what pieces of information do you wanna send from Trello to Google Sheets? In this case, I didn't need to get too creative. I've literally just followed the process described in the instructions tab. I'll go back to it for a second. You can see on the right hand side, you've got screenshots of um, exactly the process to follow. And the last screenshot is um, exactly your field mapping. So I've replicated exactly what's indicated here for our um, template to work um, as we want. So I'll go back to my flow and confirm this step. And finally, what we'll do together is we will launch the flow. So let me do that. And you can see that the initial sync is in progress. So what we'll do together is we'll switch back to my project Honey reporting. Mm -hmm. And what's meant to happen here is that my data dump, which was empty just before, is, is starting to populate with um, information coming from my Trello board. Right. And in Trello, I had about 20 cards. I think it was 22, actually. So here I should end up with 22 rows plus the initial one. That's 23 total. So we're going to leave Unito do its work. And I'm going to switch back to my report uh, tab. Earlier on, um, you saw that my graphs were pretty much empty, while now they're starting to show relevant data. Again, the sync hasn't been completed fully. So we're going to wait a little bit more. While we do so, um, I just want to show you that we have implemented some filters at the top there so that if you want, you can visualize your data based on certain assignees, certain labels. You could even uh, visualize it based on certain boards. So if you were going to connect several Trello boards to the same data dump tab, here you could choose to see your graphs for all boards at once or just for uh, each board individually. So uh, that's pretty much how it works. I think we're almost done when it comes to the sync. I'm missing just a couple of tasks, but it's pretty much done. Uh, again, this template is meant to make it easier for you, but it's not necessary to get started. If you're uh, currently using Trello and you have nowhere to report on the progress of your cards, I think this is a great way to, um, to start. And uh, I'm going to stop for a second and maybe I'll pass back to Mariah and I'm sure we've got questions in the chat but I wasn't following so uh, Mariah should we open up the floor for questions um, I actually don't see anything in uh, the chat quite yet maybe you're just too thorough Fanny <laughs> um, it must be it Yes, there'll be, uh, oh, there we go. Um, where can I get the template? So the template was linked right above, but we can link it again. Yes, did you mind pasting that template in there one more time for Evan? Um, and there'll also be, there will also be another opportunity, like I was saying, towards the end of the presentation for questions again. So if you think of some along the way, there'll be time for that, or you can pop them in the chat. That is up to you. Um, could we link information from other power-ups is another question in the chat. And uh, Yasser will help out there and I will continue on with the presentation. Thanks so much, Fanny, so thorough. <laughs> there we go. 
All right, so let's take a look at some of our common use cases. So the first one there, uh, project management reporting, uh, similar to what we were looking at. Um, we can track progress and report on opportunities and risks across key strategic initiatives. Uh, we also see a lot of support ticket escalation. We can escalate support requests and tickets to the right teams and people. And uh, Unido also sees a lot of software development use cases where we can efficiently plan agile work, manage capacity, and report bugs across multiple teams and tools. That's a big one um, that we see for sure. Alrighty, and so we support your teams in the tools you work in every day, not just Trello or Google, Sheet or Google Sheets. Uh, we have a, a larger list here of the tools we support and we're also always um, launching new tools. So we have a newsletter as well online that you can uh, subscribe to or you can keep an eye on our integrations page at unido.io for the full list as well. But uh, yeah, in terms of value, the top line here with Unido, your work velocity accelerates, nothing falls through the cracks. The staff are happier working on things that matter in the tools they enjoy, and your agility increases through clarity and alignment in real time. Uh, the bottom line value here is if you were to have, for example, six people in your team uh, times 111 changes uh, performed in a given tool per month, times the one minute on average it takes to manually replicate that change times a $60 an hour overhead, uh, the true cost of wasted time could be $6.79 a month or $8K a year, and that uh, certainly adds up. As far as pricing goes for our trialing friends out there, um, two things we uh, consider mostly here with pricing, the first being the feature set. So which features does Unido offer that are must haves for your use case? Maybe you absolutely need to sync custom fields. Maybe you absolutely need a quick syncing time or stream detachments. Uh, it's these things that we take into consideration to help you find the best plan for you. And then we look at defining the best tier of that plan for you based on the number of items you're keeping in sync. So we say items uh, because in Google Sheets, it's a row, in Trello, it's a card, in Asana, it's a task. So item is an all-encompassing term we use uh, to count your usage. So a quick way to estimate your items in sync would be if I have 50 cards in my Trello board synced to a matching 50 rows in uh, Google Sheets, that would be 100 total items in sync. Um, if that kind of makes sense. There are a few caveats. We have a more detailed article that breaks that down, or we'd be happy to help you individually um, if you'd like to find the perfect tier for you based on your usage. <laughs> 